Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're going to be working on the Yamaha G29 and we're going to be doing the front end alignment. On the Yamaha, a front end alignment consists of toe in. That is it. What we're going to check today is our toe in. There's no adjustment on any Yamaha without putting a lift kit on it that has a camber adjustment. So, what we'll need is a 17 millimeter wrench, a 12, a marker, a tape measure, and anything that's about, say about nine, 10 inch square box, empty box, cement block, a brick, whatever you can get to help us hold the uh, tape measure. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. But for now, let's get our tape measure, our marker, and let's go mark up these tires. Okay, the first thing we want to do is align our steering wheel. We want to make sure that the operation instructions or this little paper that's right here in the front is straight up and down. If you have a custom wheel, uh, steering wheel, you want to make sure that it's equally lined up for you. That way, when you turn it straight, your vision is straight and that's the way we want to go. Now, let's get to the tires. Okay, the first mark on our tire is going to be in this general area here. What we want to do is measure from the ground up to about the center area. Well, it's going to be roughly in this area here. That's uh, looking at about, oh, let's pick it about 10 and a half. So I'm going to mark it right there. Now, what I'll do now is I'll go to the other tire in the front. I'll come up 10 and a half inches, put a mark there. And then I'll do the same thing on the back of the tires, coming up to 10 and a half inches. Why? I'll show you that in just a minute. But for now, let's mark these other three locations. Okay, now I've gotten all the locations marked at roughly 10, 10 and a half inches all the way around. It really doesn't matter whether it's 10 or 10 and a half, it's just as long as the same on each tire. Next, what we want to do is pick out the very center of the tire. So we'll take the center treads, go right here in the middle, right about where I marked, and we'll make a mark here, going across it. That gives us our little plus sign. We want to go back and mark each tire the same way in the same location. Okay, now that we've got all four locations marked, what I'll do is I'll get my tape measure, put the end right in the center of my mark, measure across to the other mark right in the center. And this one comes out at 34 and 3 eighths. Now what I'll do is I'll go on the back side and measure across and see what I get there. Okay, I've got the front marked and the number. Now it's time to get the back. Here's where the little box comes into play because I'm doing this by myself. So what I'm going to do is stretch the tape measure across, lay it on the frame to about what I can see is the center. I'll lock the tape measure down. Then I'll walk across and line the tip with the center of the tire. Now I'll come back over here and take my reading. It's 34 and a half inches. That means I have a one eighth difference, the front being towed in at one eighth, which is absolutely perfect. You want it towed in one eighth to one quarter of an inch because once you get going, the car goes in a forward motion the natural tolerances will actually open the tires just a little bit, allowing it to travel in a straight bead. 
Now, if it had been off any, you would have to adjust the tie rods. Just to show you where they're at and how to adjust them, let me go get my wrenches. Okay, out of the steering column here, or the steering rack, you have your tie rods and your ball joints. Now, to adjust this, take your 17 millimeter, take the jam nut, and you'll actually break it loose like that. Now what you can do next is you take your 12, which there's indentations on each side of your tie rod, and you can take it and physically turn it one way or the other. One way turns the tire outward, causing it to be towed out, and the other turns the tire in, which would be cause it to be towed in. So you would do this, do them equally. If you turn this one here a uh, half turn, turn the other side a half turn, and then recheck. Just remember, if you do one side, you've got to do the other side the same amount. So don't overdo it to begin with. Once you're finished, be sure to come back and re-tighten this jam nut. Also, while we're down here, this little flat bar is called a knuckle arm. Or in the industry, we refer to it as the little S arm. This will be the first thing to bend if you ever have a wreck or run into something. So if you feel like your car is darting one way or the other, check both of these because one may be bent. If it's bent, let's replace it with new instead of trying to beat it out flat because you can never get it just right. Well, I hope today's episode on the front end alignment of a Yamaha G29 helped. Just remember, before you start checking your toe in, look at those knuckle arms, the little flat S bars that I told you about. If one's bent, that could be your whole problem. Get just 14 millimeter tools, swapping things out, you're probably good to go. If you have any comments, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for joining us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.